Have you had a chance yet this summer to hit the reset button or recharge your energy? If you have and you are raring to go, amazing. But if you haven't, this episode may be timely for you. It may be that you haven't had a chance to take time away yet, or you have had time away, but came back even more tired than you left. Ever had a vacation like that? I know I have. In this episode, we're covering how to identify the type of rest and activities that allow you to re-energize, because like shoes, rest is not one size fits all. If you are new to the Women Taking the Lead podcast, hello and welcome. I'm Jody Flynn. I'm an executive leadership coach, speaker, and author. I am the current president of the board for the Maine Women's Conference, and I have the privilege and joy to work with women leaders to hone the skills and the mindset that allow them to grow into and then thrive in senior leadership. My specialization is working with women who are still stabilizing after their last promotion and those who want to be ready for the next one. It is my belief that for more women to hold positions of senior leadership, there are changes at the individual and organizational level that need to occur. Not only do women need to be trained and coached on how to operate at these levels of leadership, organizations need to change their paradigm of how the work gets done and what supports are in place for leaders to do their job. If we are not already connected on LinkedIn, please send me an invitation to connect. You can find me directly at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash Jody Flynn, or you can search for Jody Flynn on the platform. I am very active on LinkedIn, so I should be at or near the top of the search results. And you'll see the follow button is prominent on my profile, but if you click on the more button to the right, you'll find the option to connect. Click on that and be sure to add a note to the invitation letting me know you're a listener of the podcast. I would love to connect with you and get to know you better. Because I'm getting ready to take a couple of weeks away, I have been thinking a lot about rest. For one, because so much typically needs to get done before going away, the weeks leading up to time away tend to be anything but restful. And in my case, I'm going to be spending five days at a lodge in Northern Maine with my extended family, and then transitioning immediately to spending a week with my partner's family in Southern Maine. While it's going to be amazing, the time in Northern Maine, which is at a large property on a lake that has a lodge and cabins adjacent to the lodge, is going to be with 39 people. My thoughts on this can be summed up in a statement made by my brother-in-law. He said, when I think about this as a vacation, I get stressed out. When I think of it as a family reunion, it makes me feel better. I don't expect it to be restful. That's not the point of this time. It's time with family. When he said that to me, something clicked in my brain and I went, yes. That's what this is going to be. While the time in Southern Maine will be less active, it's a beach vacation. And while I love seeing and hearing the ocean, it's so good for my soul, I will need to reapply sunscreen every hour on the hour that we are on the beach in daylight. (laughs) All that being said, I believe this vacation will check a lot of boxes for me when it comes to recharging my physical mental, emotional, and spiritual energy. And that's what time off and vacations are all about as you're going into and while you're in that stage of midlife. You work so hard and give your all as a leader to your work. You need that time to rest and renew your energy. Otherwise, you'll lose your motivation and momentum, or even worse, your health. Now, if you haven't already, I want to also encourage you to listen to a couple of episodes of Women Taking the Lead that dropped recently. Those episodes are, Do You Believe in Modeling Leadership, Take Time Off, and Tending to Your Mental and Emotional Wellness 
is not an option. These episodes are a springboard for what I'm going to cover in this episode. From here, I'm going to encourage you to grab pen and paper. I'm going to read through some questions that are on a worksheet that I have my clients fill out. This worksheet helps them zero in on the things that renew their energy. And I'll probably add a few questions as they come to me as well. This exercise helps me as their coach to know what to be asking about if ever they need rest. It's personalized. What helps you rest and recharge may cause me stress and vice versa. That's why it's so important for you to know exactly what does it for you. Because knowing that is half the battle. You can let go of all the things other people are recommending for you if you know it won't work. Rest and vacations are very personal, so you need to know what works best for you. Now, if you're driving or out for a walk or run, you can listen to the questions to start pondering your own answers, but Rewind the episode after so you can come back and document your answers when it works best for you. Are you ready? Let's do this. How much sleep do you need to feel well rested? What prevents you from getting a good night's sleep? What do you need to do ahead of time to ensure that you get a good night's sleep? What helps calm you down? Is it an activity? A person? A food or a beverage? Is it a certain smell or texture? Is it a certain kind of music? Write down all the things that calm you down. What renews your energy? Do you react well to naps? Are there certain people who energize you? They always make you feel good and uplifted. Does some physical activity act as a pick-me-up? Does good conversation stimulate you? Write all the things that renew your energy. What do you do that you get totally engaged in and lose track of time? What are your favorite hobbies, activities, or passions? What about them appeals to you? Describe the situations or circumstances in which you have felt fully alive. Okay, let's take a little break here for me to check in on your leadership development. Do you know what your individual leadership development needs are? Knowing what you need as a leader is the first step to becoming more confident and confident in your leadership. I developed the Leadership Operating System Quiz for women like you. This holistic self-assessment allows you to assess your effectiveness in leading others, leading yourself, your ability to influence, your ability to manage your energy, which is what we're talking about now, and your communication skills. It's a way for you to quickly identify where you could focus your developmental resources. It will take you about three minutes for you to complete. And if you think about it, that's a quick turnaround to gaining insight into what would improve your effectiveness as a leader and make being a leader a lot easier and more enjoyable. What's your leadership operating system? Find out by visiting womentakingthelead.com take a fun, easy leadership inventory.
Okay, back to talking about personalizing, re-energizing you. Now, I'm going to list several areas. I think there's about eight. And in each of these areas, you want to write them down, but then you want to go back and write down one thing you can do in each of those areas to take care of yourself, right? Just one thing you can do to take care of yourself. Now, the areas I want you to think about are health and wellness, personal finance, career and profession, family and parenting, personal development, spiritual awareness, fun and enjoyment, and then intimate relationships and social relationships. Now, after you're done listing out one thing you can do to take care of yourself in each one of those areas, I want you to pick three that you can take on right away and write them down separately, right? Distinguish them from the others. And then I want you to make a plan to either complete them if they're a one and done item, right? It'll just take one thing to check it off your list. Or if it's not one and done, it's actually like a habit you wanna start developing. Begin putting a practice into your schedule, right? Don't just say, I'm gonna start doing this. Put it on your calendar, right? Put reminders, you know, set yourself up to success. What can you do to ensure that you will start doing these things? Now, if you cannot re-energize by getting away for a week or two, that's okay. You now know what will help to calm you down and then get some of that good energy back. I'm Also going to highly recommend a fantastic episode of the Lazy Genius Podcast. It's titled, The Seven Kinds of Rest and How to Know Which One You Need. I think the title speaks for itself. But listening to that episode, and she goes into a little more detail, really had me thinking about exactly what she says, the different kinds of rests that are out there, rest and resetting. And she goes on, she does a uh, fantastic job. Kendra Adachi is the host of that podcast. And I'm not going to lie, I would love to hang out with her someday. She's so down to earth. She's so fun. And she just has this way of articulating things that you really can latch on to what she's saying and put it into practice right away. Now you can find the link to Kendra's episode in this episode's description. If you're listening through a mobile device, the link will be in your podcast app. And if you're listening through the Women Taking the Lead website, the link will be toward the bottom of the episode webpage or what's called a show notes page. So if your last promotion left you feeling unstable in your leadership role, I invite you to consider working with me. I would love to support you through this transition, help you get your bearings and feeling confident in your leadership once again. And if you're also gearing up for new role, new responsibilities, and you're feeling a little, "Mm, don't know if I'm ready for that, I'd love to work with you as well. So if if you know it's time, then schedule a time to chat with me. If you're going to ask your company to sponsor you to work with a coach, grab the checklist that will help you prepare for the conversation. Again, all links are in the episode description or on the show notes page on the website. And as always, I hope this was of value to you and here's to your success.